What's happening guys? Um, I was sent here to do a plate heat exchanger swap on a Worcester Green Star 24i Junior. Um, as I was swapping the plate over, I did notice that the right hand block had lime scale around the uh, cold water section. Um, I replaced the plate, I put it back together. As I turned it on, lo and behold, it's leaking. So a plate change has turned into right hand block change. Um, so I've got the bits now. I'm gonna go in and change it and I'm gonna film it. All right, so on this one, sorted the plate out. I didn't notice that the return manifold there was scaled up and it wasn't leaking before, but where I've changed the plate, it's disturbed the scale on there. And where I've turned it back on, water's just started leaking from there. So I've gone down to the suppliers, got a new manifold, and we're gonna be swapping that over. So on the, on the new manifold, it comes with a new diverter valve, so you don't need to worry about getting one of those. I have got a new flow turbine adapter because we all know that the old one breaks inside when you try and remove it and i've also got myself a new prv because when you're taking this out you might as well change the prv and um what else did i get aav because that aav on the pumps been leaking as well so i'm going to be replacing that at the same time so we have already been changing the plate boilers already been drained out cold mains is isolated uh so we're just going to crack on removing all the right hand section the pump and everything taking the block out and then replacing it right so i'm gonna take out the diverter valve connection flow turbine connection uh, i'm going to undo flow turbine the return connection at the top of the pump expansion vessel pressure gauge uh, pump connection and then start removing it bit by bit Right, so, so far I've got the pump out, the flow turbine out, and that's all there. And now we're gonna take out, basically, there's a screw at the back here. I'm gonna undo that, undo the bypass from there, uh, undo the return connection, and try and pop the whole thing out. Okay, so that is the right hand block out and we can see where that's failed. See all this lime scale? So that's split from somewhere there and it's just been spraying everywhere and that lime scale had previously sealed up the connection between that and the plate but where I removed the plate to change it, um, it's disturbed the scale and then caused it to start leaking again. But yeah, I'm gonna take out the PRV, take out the bypass, change all the O-rings, um, and then pop the new one back in. The good thing is with Worcesters, they give you O-rings for pretty much everything that you might need. So I've got new O-rings for the bypass, new O-rings for expansion vessel hose, new O-rings for the pressure gauge hose, new O-rings for the plate, new O-rings for the pump, um, new washers on top of the pump, um, pretty much everything that you can need, they supply it. Okay, that's the new block all made up, so I've put new PRV on. Uh, there's a new flow turbine adapter because the old one breaks when you take it out of there But remember you need to take out the flow restrictors and swap them over into the new flow adapter um, 
return connection, you take it off the bottom there. That is actually quite a struggle to get back in because that o ring's quite fat, so you really got to wiggle it to get it in. But that is the block all done, all greased up. Everything in there is all greased up as well, so ready for this to go in and the bypass. That's the right hand side block back in. Now I'm just going to swap the AAV over on the pump, put the pump back in, and then the flow turbine adapter and the uh, cold inlet pipe and everything. Right, that's all the wet components all back in. So now we'll turn on the cold mains, test it for leaks, and then we'll fill up the system, test it, make sure everything's good, and then we'll fire her up. Right, cold mains is on, and that is looking good so far. So now we will turn on, just make sure everything else is done, turn, open the return, open the flow, uh, that shut AAV is open and let's start filling up right I need to get a flat head for those right that is up to pressure where are we one and a half bar it's not leaking anywhere we are all good I just got to turn it on test it make sure heat and hot water is working properly yeah that's how you do a return block on a Worcester Junior 